I am not in religion, I am in Christ, I left religion and follow Jesus. God has no religion. Religion has nothing to do with God. God did not create religion. Rather, God created man and man created religion. God's intention is not for man to have religion, but for him to have relationship with him, to be one with him so that man may have God's life. Life relationship, not religion. Religion is man reaching for God, but Christian faith is God reaching for man. Religion is man's attempt to have communion with God. The Christian faith is a relationship with God because of what He has done for us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Religion and Christ are two different lines. Through Christianity is not a religion. Rather, it is having a relationship with God by receiving Jesus Christ as the Savior by grace through faith. Christ is versus religion. From the record of Matthew, we can see that all things related to Christ took place outside of religion. In that day, Judaism was the genuine religion, the religion founded according to God's holy word. But everything concerning Christ took place outside of that. In other words, Christ had nothing to do with religion. The birth of Christ, the finding of Christ, the introducing of Christ, and the following of Christ were entirely apart from religion. The record of all four Gospels from the beginning to the end shows how Christ is versus religion and religion is always against Christ. Jesus was 100% versus religion, but he still loved those religious people. We can also see in the book of Acts that Christ was still versus religion. The battle between Christ and religion was even more severe in the book of Acts than in the four Gospels. The disciples of Jesus went forward testifying and witnessing for Jesus, absolutely ignoring religion. This greatly offended the religious people and rulers. Therefore, they exercised their religious authority to arrest and impress on them. Almost the entire section of the Ephesos, in all these letters, we see how much Christ is versus religion. In the book of Revelation, we can also see many things concerning Christ versus religion. Religion and Christ are two different lines. Religion may be good, but it cannot give you life. Christ did not come to establish a new religion, but to give you life. Religion can save. Many religions today claim to be the only true religion and that if you are not one of them, you will not be saved. Despite the fact that God has no religion, one of the characteristics of a false religion according to what I've observed is one that claims to be the only true religion. Do all religions lead to God? No. All people, religious or otherwise, will stand before God someday. But religious affiliation is not that determines your eternal destiny. When you stand before God in His judgment seat, He will not judge us based on our religion. Only faith in Jesus Christ will save. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. It's as simple as that. Only faith in Jesus Christ, death and resurrection leads to God's forgiveness and eternal life. No one comes to the Father except through the Son. It does not make a difference what you believe. The decision to embrace the truth about Jesus Christ is important. Eternity is awfully long time to be wrong. We do not care for religion, even a Christian religion. We just care for the living Christ. If you keep religion, you will lose Christ. And if you keep Christ, you will certainly lose religion. Christ is versus religion. Christ never goes along with religion. That is why I am a Christian and I belong directly to Christ.